I love talking to people and people love talking about food. So dietetics and me, we kind of just mesh so well. And I fell in love with the science behind dietetics and the ability to communicate with people through food. My name is Marie Johnson, and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist from New York, but now living in Springfield, Missouri. Coming from a Hispanic background or Latino background, I saw a lot of, you know, hypertension, diabetes, heart disease runs in my family, same as diabetes. So I was really interested in helping, you know, my family as well as the community that I was seeing that suffers a lot of these diseases. I am Jorge Magaña. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist in Dayton, Ohio. When I was in college, I performed as an athlete and I ended up meeting a dietitian one day um, and I was completely blown away by what she taught me. One small tweak to my diet made a huge impact on how I performed on the court and in the classroom. My name is Emma Lang and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist from Athens, Georgia. While in high school, I actually worked as a diet aide at the local convalescent center where my mom worked. But it wasn't until I took my first nutrition class that I knew that the field of dietetics was the career for me. 15 years later, I find myself continuing to learn and grow in a field that I love. My name is Lieutenant Dennis Anderson Villos, and I'm a dietitian in the United States Public Health Service Commission Corps. My name is Kayla Hopkins. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was just drawn to how food can be used to make you feel better. So I started out in the medical field, but on the admin side. When I was working as an admin at the GI office, I noticed that there was a huge gap in patient care. No one was talking to them about their diet. I went to the managers and said, what do you guys think about, you know, me going to school becoming a dietitian, and potentially filling that role. And thankfully they allowed me to do that. So my career in the field of dietetics began when I graduated from my undergraduate degree. And I found that NDTR credential to be a very um, accessible way for me to get my foot in the door. I had the privilege of working with RDNs who were doing great things in the field and they were so encouraging towards my skills and, and mentoring me. And with their blessings and their encouragement, I decided to apply for DieCast. And I'm so happy to say that I was able to complete it this past August, passing the exam. I work at Bright Sky Nutrition as an RDN. My day-to-day -day job, it's a lot of really good education that's going to lead to lifelong habits and eventually make them independent of needing a dietitian. My first job as a dietitian was in Washington State at Yakima Valley Farm Workers Clinic. There's a lot of migrants that work in the apple fields there. I was able to serve them and help them deal with diabetes, hypertension. I recently moved to Ohio, got married, and now I'm working on building my own private practice. My focus in my private practice is preventive health. With the, my private practice, I also want to work with the community and be able to have presentations where individuals could come and learn about things that they could do to improve their health. So currently I'm working as a registered dietitian nutritionist with Atrium Health. And so I'm focused in only seeing primarily GI disorders and GI diseases. So in the field of nutrition, there aren't many GI dietitians. I really, really think that dietitians belong in this role. Before my current career, I spent 20 years as a research scientist working in clinical nutrition. My current position as a registered dietitian nutritionist is a clinical professor and director of the didactic program in dietetics at the University of Georgia. I'm mainly teaching, so I'm in the classroom five days a week and teaching clinical nutrition courses and medical nutrition therapy courses. I am on a mission to reduce weight stigma, both in the classroom and in the profession at large. And so my mission is to try and expand the breadth of knowledge with respect to health and what that really means and take the focus off weight as the sole marker of somebody's health. So my career started by joining the Nevada Air National Guard and working as an electrician for C-130s. And I used the GI Bill to earn my bachelor's degree in dietetics. That led me to my first job with the WIC program. I would eventually learn about a small but mighty uniform service, the United States Public Health Service Commission Corps. In my current position, I work with an outstanding group of dietitians at the Department of Health and Human Services in the Office of Disease Prevention and Health Promotion. It is such a great experience and I feel very fortunate to play a role in providing evidence-based nutrition guidance for the country. 
So when I transitioned from an NDTR to an RDN, I wanted to continue to work with NDTR. NDTR Spotlight, a video podcast, I was able to start my second year in my dietetic internship and master's degree. I get the chance to, to talk to NDTRs all over the country. There's endless possibilities what, with what you could do with the NDTR credential. You just have to think outside the box and NDTR Spotlight shows you how to do that by shining light on NDTRs who are thinking outside of the box. One thing that I find most rewarding is really just the the I feel better. I I swear those three words are just so great as soon as a patient says I feel better because of a simple fix. It could be a simple dietary change. And when a patient comes back to you and tells you thank you so much because of the words that you told me or the guidance that you gave me, I've been able to improve my health. I've been able to you know, drop my medications that I was taking before. The information that I support can impact a person's lifelong health. When you think of it that way, it's so rewarding to realize the influence our profession has on generations of Americans.